Well, their goal was to expose pedophiles and to keep children safe. But RCMP say three teenagers who posted a series of vigilante videos on the Internet were putting themselves at risk. Those videos show costumed superheroes confronting apparent child predators after luring them online. It happened in Chilliwack, and police say the three young men responsible were spoofing the popular Dateline NBC series to catch a predator. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. You brought marijuana for a 15 year old girl, he's here to have sex with her. These are not your average superheroes. <laughs> this man right here is a sex offender. Confronting what they believe is evil in a public place in search of truth and justice. What they were doing was uh, posting ads on on the internet, basically uh, plenty of fish and Craigslist posing as a 15 year old girl. One of the vigilantes who has altered his voice and identifies himself as Batman says the response to the ad was overwhelming. We had conversations with at least 50 to 100, 100 uh, over the age men. Having graphic online conversations about sex and drugs. They would lure the men to a public place, then ambush them in costume. This guy is a pedophile. Videotaping the encounter and posting it on YouTube for the world to see. So it wasn't an original idea. It was an idea that uh, you can say that we took from uh, an American show. I know that you were chatting online. The girl. popular American it's show to catch a predator, where people are exposed preying on children. The RCMP's Integrated Child Exploitation Unit says what these teens were doing is dangerous and could put others at risk. If they go to the wrong park or if they go to the wrong meeting zone and or they're in a state of arousal of some sort, they might decide to act on another child, completely unrelated. Police demanded the teens take the videos off the Internet. I'm, I'm very mad about it. About what? About the police taking down our videos and making us out to be the bad guys. The two 17-year-olds and an 18-year-old posted this on their Facebook page, saying the future of our channel is unknown. Due to police intervention, we will be discontinuing the series. 100% what we did was the right thing. And for the police to chase after the good guys and not the bad guys, speaks for the Chilliwack Police Department. Chilliwack RCMP say it is not clear if the teens will face charges, but they do not believe their intent was criminal. Police say they are also trying to identify the men in the videos to confirm whether they were in fact the men responding to the ads. Louise Hardland, CTV News.